هاي مسافة بول كما how to work with pivot to exc general criteria to example example 1 and example 2 example 1 is a simpler one is on for two conditions a lot of GUIs let me go for example 1 open the command prompt this is the website link which you can download py to exe I have pasted in the below description you can copy it from there I'm using Enter Canopy, which contains a Python 2.7. I'm using a 64 bit of Windows. Just I will save it. I'll run the py2exe. It's a uh, exe so you do not have to go for a command prompt to install the py library just double click and installation okay now the py2 exe has been installed this is the setup.txt if you need to put any packages like uh, nubby or uh, sci-fi something you can paste it over there and this is empty this is uh, uh, same thing I'm going to use it for all py to exe conversions this is setup.py uh, that's the windows and these are the icons which I am using in my applications which has saved it in the setup.txt this is also a uh, paste it in the below description you can uh, copy it from there actual center for uh, py2x execution is python setup.txt which you have uh, written the whole code of uh, py2x execution and py2x is the normal syntax to execute a py2x it's asking for a dll dlldump.com is one of our website you can download required dll from there click on the search and download a particular I have downloaded it before just copy and paste it in the example one now run the same program again there is some error don't worry if you get the same kind of error just rerun the program again it's completed these are the module missing it's just a warning just ignore them don't worry about uh, warnings it will create it in uh, dist this is a setup.ex application yeah, it's working has properly inserted the icons and everything is working properly when you run py2ex it will create a two folders built and dist in dist you can find your actual exe let me go for example 2 in example 2 i have made a little bit of uh, changes to the setup file here i have written it in a box packet the script is the main.py and I have pasted the icon also this is the actual icon which I am using for my exe if you want to put any icons for your exe in the application you can do it in this way and below sort the icons which required for my application to run the other pys or the additional modules the supportive modules you can say it as supportive modules for my main.py okay let me have just created the two folder built in DHT. It's asking the same DLL copy and paste it. Whichever 
p by 2 ex you need to convert it requires the dll so before running the p by 2 ex you just copy that dll into a folder running it contains a lot of uh, warnings most of the warnings are from my numpy even though in thought cannot be contains a numpy built-in but uh, you get a lot of warnings let me check for a uh, exe this is the error log which is created main okay, exe dot log let me check what is the actual error It's completely the numpy the same the numpy error the import error. Okay. Just I'm going to download the numpy from a website which I have shown you before. Here you will put uh, get a lot of uh, libraries. It's uh, executable on exe so that you do not have to go for command prompt and install it again and again. Just download whichever applications or library you require from here. I have downloaded it before the numpy. Just run that numpy.exe. Numpy, numpy 1.9.1. 1. Let me rerun the program. Can have the same warning. Ignore them. Go for the test folder. Click on the exe. Oh, I am getting the same error. The problem which I have done is I should delete that built and test folder. The error has occurred to us because I have not deleted this error log file also. So let me delete the built in the DHT. It's the same numpy error again. Actually, rerunning the numpy is not necessary, just I'm doing it simply. Just delete the both folders. Go for command prompt and run the code again. Yeah, there are still a lot of uh, missing warning. Ignore them. Just go for the git folder and uh, just click on main.exe. Should work now. Yeah, it's working properly. Let me check some buttons. Mm, yes, it's working. Yeah, icon also has been loaded properly. Let me close this. There's an application called INO setup, I double NO setup. I'll just uh, show you now, which contains a complete EXE package so that you can distribute your application with some other persons. This is the link which I have pasted in the description. You can copy from there. It's a freeware. I've downloaded and installed that you know, setup before. Create a new script. Okay. Nice. Your application name and version and the publisher name. 
1.0s my application and that will give my name as a publisher and i don't have any kind of a set so it's empty next yeah it's asking for a exe file go for dst and select the exe okay you need to add the subfolder built in the dist dist it's asking for do you want to load the subfolders yes i would like to load the subfolders and load the build okay yes okay if you want to add any kind of a license you can add it over there english the language is selected the setup name you can provide a setup name and uh, you can load the icon i will load the same icon for setup also if you do not want to load any kind of icon for setup just leave it empty it will choose its own setup icon okay this is the script which is generated i i'll just save that script in the future if i need any little bit modification in the execution i will modify the script and rerun the same turn it just have deleted the previously created exe creates a output in the same destination it will combine all the py libraries and your applications logo and whatever the icons are there in the exe and it will compress it and combine them together exe is created just let me install that exe so test function and i want to create a desktop icon as no i do not want to launch the application now run as administrator for my application it's asking for uh, administration rights if you run in a normal condition my application is not working if you face the same kind of problem just run as administrator so that your problem will be resolved it's working properly and that's it thanks for watching like the video and subscribe have a great day